Hey, High Five Silver here. I uh, wanted to talk to you guys tonight about uh, the, the crucibles and the amount of wear and tear that the, the uh, furnace is, is putting on the, the crucibles. Um, I was a little concerned after uh, early on seeing one of High Ho Silver's uh, crucibles um, uh, fade away and break and his silver going down in his. <clears throat> and then I seen the last one of Mr. Zeke's um, where he had a little uh, problem with one of his crucibles breaking and uh, that concerned me greatly. And I did notice after about 15, 20 pours that some of the crucibles were uh, um, deteriorating uh, to the point where uh, uh, the graphite on the outside of the crucibles was, was uh, getting eaten away by all the heat. And every time I'd clean it, it'd end up a big black mess all over the place and uh, graphite uh, dust laying everywhere. So I really wanted to... to uh, to talk to you guys about <clears throat> uh, crucibles and I looked how to ex I did I, I got online and I looked on YouTube about extending the life of crucibles and there was one guy on there I don't remember his name an older fella he was making smaller crucibles uh, but he was using the ceramic coating uh, put on him he had a mixture of two different ceramics coatings he was putting together and uh, he was extending the life of his crucibles so I thought well I'll give it a shot uh, so I ordered up uh, one of the coatings. He mixed, uh, uh, and here it is. Uh, it's an ITC100HT ceramic coating. Uh, and I believe he put on also a 231HT uh, coating. He mixed those two together, mixed a little water with it, painted it on his crucibles, and that's how he was extending the life of them. Uh, to keep all the deterioration from happening and keep them from burning through so I did that um, and I've got about I've got three pours on some of these uh, this one here uh, I put two coatings on I put two coatings on that and I've done two or three pours in this but after I pulled it out of the furnace uh, after all my pours and everything uh, there's no black on it. No black comes off. So it's getting no deterioration at all on the outside You still get a little bit on the inside from all the heat and everything going on there, but You could tell this stuff is hard as a rock guys. I mean, it's a it's a ceramic coating for sure and uh, Like I said, I got about two coatings on that. I put it on you mix it with water You mix it up a little bit like paint. It comes in like a heavy paste and uh, you mix it up like a, a paint and paint it on. It's got a little like sand or grit or something in it. And uh, and you, I just put a coating on, light coating on, let it dry for oh four or five hours or so, uh, and then put another light coating on. And uh, that one's worked out really well. I've ran this one through. Uh, I got this baby up. This is what I used the other day to pour the kilos. Uh, but you can see there's no, there, this one was really thin when I started. Um, there was, there's no deterioration to the outside, no black coming off of it. The black that I'm getting on it right now is actually coming from the inside. Like I said, you still get a little bit of that and you still get it up around the rim and stuff like that. But nowhere near is, uh, is what we were used to get. I'm sure you guys were getting it. If I was getting it, you guys are getting it. Um, the amount that's coming off the outside. And you know how these things would get so bad, they'd start getting hourglass shape uh, from all the heat and everything and losing this bottom lip. It seemed like about after 10, 15 pours, this bottom lip right here, right here would get really, really thin. So actually what I did was as I was painting this stuff on, I would kind of build up that lip and, uh, and get that back in shape. So it's got some, it's got some strength again, but... This one, I'm sure would have, after one or two more pours, um, probably would have broke and I would have ended up with silver in my furnace like a couple of you guys did. But I feel safe uh, getting many more pours out of this now. And as I just see it, uh, any deterioration or anything like that, well, I'll just clean it up, 
get it roughed up again and uh, give it another coat get all the dust off of it make sure it's nice and clean give it another coat and uh, I'm sure it's good for many 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 more pours uh, so that's that one what I did with one is an experiment because I thought okay I took a, a new one and what I basically did was coat the outside I didn't rough it up you can see that it flaked off because it was so new and so smooth there was nothing for the coating to to really stick to it, it was so smooth so really it works better if, if the crucible is roughed up before you put the coating on it seems to stick a lot better and just for shits and giggles I thought well if I can save the outside like I'm doing on these I wonder if I could save the inside so I put a coat a light little coating on the inside and I ran an ounce through here just to see what would happen if I was going to get any contamination or anything if any flakes would break off and it'd get in my silver it did not but I'm not real comfortable with throwing five or ten ounces in there yet uh, and but uh, more to come on this uh, like I said this was a brand new one when I started I just threw a coating on it and it wasn't rough uh, so I did get some flaking um, just because it, it wasn't sticking um, like these were really rough uh, from doing many pours and you know how it gets the holes and everything in the in the graphite there was just really nothing for it to stick to on this one but uh, more to come on this but uh, yeah you guys uh, I got uh, the ITC 231 is on back order uh, so as soon as I get that I'm gonna do what this other guy did I'm gonna try another crucible and um, I'll mix the 100 HT and the 231 HT together and and give it a give us another crucible a uh, couple coatings see what's best but uh, I gotta tell you guys I'm really happy with this because you know once these things cool down you go to clean them off before your next pour and everything you just it's you're just covered in black graphite and so it's it was just going everywhere and I had graphite laying all over the workbench and everything like that it was kind of crazy but this like I said done some pours no graphite come off no t deterioration to the uh, crucible and uh, more to come guys but uh, for now I'm gonna be coating them and as I see any deterioration or anything like that uh, I'm gonna cover it up and just extend the, the life of these things because you know these guys these things ain't cheap you know you're looking anywhere from 15 to 40 dollars for for different size ones the smaller ones are cheaper you guys know that but uh, if I can uh, help save us in the pouring community a little bit of money uh, and extend the life of what we got this stuff's kind of pricey guys but uh, if, if you can double triple um, uh, the life of your crucibles and you know and you can do that over the long run and I'm sure this would probably do 40 50 crucibles at least um, you know that's that's a lot of money savings in the end uh, because when you guys uh, pour two three four five ounces six ounces ten ounces at a time and you got to replace one of these every 10 15 20 pours that's 40 bucks out of your pocket you know you could be making money somewhere else um, but uh, I think in the long haul if you're gonna keep pouring it's I think it's best just to to get this this stuff on here it keeps the outside from from going away it keeps that hourglass shape uh, and burn out of all the graphite uh, from happening um, I'm really interested in seeing uh, what's what you guys think uh, I made this really made this video for kind of the bear uh, high host silver mr. Zeke who's been helping me out a ton uh, silver fox refining shiny bars uh, Balkan 5678 uh, Backyard Bullion all you guys um, And don't get mad if I don't mention your name uh, Pirate Booty Bullion AG Ender all you guys uh, that uh, That I have seen uh, pouring silver, you know 
anybody that you see can pour, or pour silver in our community, send this video to them. Uh, if I didn't mention their names, uh, make sure everybody gets it. Just trying to save us a little bit of money on, you know, pouring silver, having fun, uh, getting the product that we like to the people that we like. And uh, you guys uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Remember to share it with the people uh, that you know pour silver. If you see, hey, uh, if you're looking at somebody's video, hey, Larry's got a good uh, savings deal over here. Uh, you might go check out High Five Silver's videos and see what he has to say about this uh, ceramic coating uh, for, for the way we're pouring stuff. Or if you guys got a better idea or if there's something better out there, please let me know. Um, always looking looking out uh, I know I just started this and I'm new at this but uh, there's always better ideas out there guys uh, so hey I appreciate you watching um, thanks let me know what you think have a good one